All right, everybody, very exciting. Today, finally, you're going to go with Newton's laws of motion, and there are four of them. Number one, sigma f is equal to zero. Let's take a look. Number two, f equal ml. Let's take a look. And number three, fab is equal to negative fba. Let's take a look. Number four, fg is equal to g m1 m2 over r square. Let's take a look. Let's fully understand Newton's first law. Object at rest, go crazy to stand rest. I'm telling you. Object at rest, go crazy to stay at rest. Take a look. Show you object at rest likes to stay at rest. Glass stayed there. Newton fast law hold true. This is what we call law of inertia. Object at rest, like to stay at rest. Object at rest, go crazy to stay at rest. But object in motion also, also go crazy to stay in motion. Let's take a look. Have you ever seen a car moving on the road? Yes, you have. Have you ever seen a passenger with a seatbelt? Yes, you have. Have you ever seen a car collision? Yes, you have. Have you ever seen a car? After the collision or during the collision, the passenger make a projectile motion. Yes, you have. The car was moving 10 miles per hour. The car was moving 16 kilometers per hour. The car was moving 4 meters per second. That means it doesn't matter if passenger has seat belt or not. Passenger was also moving 10 miles per hour, 16 kilometers per hour. Four meter per second. So when the car came to rest because of the brake, right? The brake stopped the car. External force, right? The car is stopped because the brake stopped the car. External force was responsible for stopping the car, right? But car came to rest from oh, 10 mile per hour to zero mile per hour, zero meter, four meter per second to zero meter per second. However, the passenger was moving 10 miles per hour, kept moving with 10 miles per hour because passenger went crazy to keep moving 10 miles per hour because why? Newton fast law, object in motion, like to stay in motion. The car also went crazy to keep its motion, which was 10 miles per hour, but external force blocked it, made it impossible for the car to kept moving at 10 miles per hour. However, there was no external force blocking the passenger. So the passenger kept moving at 10 miles per hour, making the projectile motion, make moving even when the car completely came to stop. That is what you're gonna see now. Take a look.